Hey everybody, it's the Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about the new film Battle of the Sexes starring Emma Stone and Steve Carell. Des, what'd you think? Uh, this story is about Billie Jean King. And I guess she had a famous match between... Bobby Riggs. Thank you, Bobby Riggs. And it was, uh, at the time, it was in the 70s. I don't know what year exactly. 73. 73, okay. So it was deemed the battle of the sexes. Like this was the first time that was a major sports figure, uh, men against women. And women had left the the tennis, the professional tennis, and started their own thing because they weren't getting respected. And so it's this story. It is, I thought it was really good. Uh, the Emma Stone, um, you, she, I forgot it was Emma Stone. And it, she totally became Billie Jean King. And I thought the acting was amazing. I thought the story was really well told. And there's hair in my face. Uh, I thought I, it was educational on a level since I was like three when this actually happened. So I had no history. I had no you know, expectation of what it was gonna be. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good movie. What did you think? Yeah, I liked it a lot too. And I, I had known just a little bit of the story just from like history as far as that but uh, I will say this to me this seems like the kind of movie Emma Stone could win an Oscar for she was so good it's so different than La La Land which she won an Oscar for I mean La La Land's a great movie too don't get me wrong about that but uh, she really is is really good in this role she kind of looks like Billie Jean King a little bit too Uh, her acting was way way better actually in this than I thought yeah Uh, probably okay sorry and I I loved Steve Carell in this movie too I don't know he just so good he just is, this is a great character for him like probably one of the some of the best acting from her too i really actually like sarah silverman a lot in it too who i'm not uh-huh. always a huge fan of sarah silverman but she was she can act definitely for sure she plays yeah. gladys a lady like kind of runs the women's league she kind of gives their promoter and stuff like that uh, and then i there was a lot of big people elizabeth shu and alan cumming and bill pullman and they're all fantastic uh, fred armison but i can I tell you about Austin Stowell, who played Billie Jean King's husband? He was so good yeah. in this movie, and he's such a nice guy who understands, like, even when, you know, Billie Jean King comes out as a lesbian, it's, he's just, yeah. he still supports her and, right? like, cares yeah. about her and wants what's best for her. He really is a good guy. I hope that's what he was really like. But uh, the way that Austin Stowell played him, I thought he was fantastic as well, too. So, you know who else I liked was the guy who played Steve Carell's son. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he has some really poignant moments in this mm-hmm. that were very impressive. I thought he did a great job. I don't know his name. I don't know his name either. Oh, Lewis Pullman. Is he related to Bill Pullman? Oh, I wonder. Bum, bum, bum. Find all this information. Yeah. Um, no, I thought he was great. But he is Bill Pullman's son. Excellent. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, and it's really, it really is a really good script, especially the tennis match part is really like intense and really good. No. Uh, it's written by Simon Bolfoy, who wrote and won an Oscar for Slumdog Millionaire. And so great writing behind the scenes yeah. as well, too. So it is just a good story, and it's well-paced and well done uh, and great acting. So I say go see it for sure, too. Yeah, for sure. Bye.